Hi, welcome to WiseCat. Okay, so in the last video we made a quiz, my first quiz, and we put a question in there and we gave it a try. This time we're going to look at some easier ways and better ways to manage questions in here. So in this question, in this quiz, uh, we actually have questions, but where are the questions stored? First of all, let's have a look at that. Let's go into the course page itself and then go behind this gear icon and we'll take a look at the more menu and down at the bottom of the, that page we have this area called question bank where we have questions, categories, import and export as the options. If we go to questions there we can look and we can see here it is how long that's our how long question. We can preview this question from within the question bank. Also, we can manage categories here and we have some other import and export options there as well. So we'll cover those import options in particular in a few minutes. But a word on categories. When you're making questions and putting them into a question bank, it is essential to make categories, make question categories. You add categories by going, scrolling down to the categories screen, scrolling down to the bottom and there's an add category section. Choose the parent where it's supposed to be. I'm going to make this one in top. And I'm going to make the name I can format. Because I'm about to import questions using I can format and show you that. Uh, basically hit enter or save it and there we go. We've got a lovely little category there and we can put questions in there. The question I made before went into uh, default for my new course, so that's why this has a little one here. Okay, we can make more categories, as many as we need, and we can keep our questions sorted so that next time we need to make a question, uh, a quiz that tests, say, the uh, present perfect uh, progressive, uh, you can actually just dig up those questions as you need them. If you have categories underneath listening, you might have different kinds of listening questions underneath a, a parent listening category because you can have these nested as well. Um, so the sky's the limit in terms of organization. But keeping your questions organized into categories is essential. Okay, so before when we went to questions here and when we made this question using... Um, the Moodle interface, we could easily enough click create a new question and choose multiple choice, etc, etc. This is the slow way of doing it because the web interface takes a lot of time to click and then click open a new one and find the correct places to add the text. It is a lot faster to just add them to a text document and import them afterwards. So that's what I'm going to show you today. And today I'm going to show you uh, the ICANN format first. And in a separate video, perhaps, I will show you the uh, GIFT format afterwards. So I will add the links to the documentation for both of these in this video. Uh, ICANN format is this one here. And there are examples. And you can probably already figure out just by looking at it that this is a fairly simple format. GIFT is much more complex, but has much more power with it. And you can make all sorts of different types of questions as well. Links to this documentation in below. For now, let's have a quick look at ICANN format. So ICANN format's advantage is when you have a text file, for example, and you have your, your question is written out in a text file like this. This is perhaps how it might be written in your word processor. Your how long is a piece of string? Uh, a, two times half uh, a piece of string. Uh, B, this long, C, that long, and D, so long. And students might just answer that. Well, this is almost all the information that we need to create a question in Moodle. The only thing that Moodle needs to know on top of that is, what's the correct answer? So let's tell it. And we do that by saying answer, colon, and A, B, C, or D. In this case, it's A. So what's happening here is you are creating a format. And if I just put in a bare format here, this is what it looks like. The first line is the question. 
This is the question. To be or not to be? This is the question. Okay, the second line, third line, fourth line, and you can have as many answers as you like. You could go up to E, or you can only go down to say C if you want, if you only have three answers. And you say, okay, to be, uh, not to be, and um, uh, shaking spears. All right, so here we'll say the answer is to be. Yes, we want to be. Okay, so now we've got two questions here already made and we can make a third one or a fourth one or a fifth one. So for making uh, multiple choice questions, this is about as simple as a file can get. Okay, points that you need to be a bit careful of. Uh, the A, B, C, D, um, they basically need to follow the same format. So if you have a capital A here and a lowercase b here, that's not going to work. Uh, the second thing is that you can use, instead of uh, dots, you can use parentheses or something like that. So there's no need to change everything to dots, uh, but you must have a space following it. And also, if one is parentheses and the others are all dots, that won't work. So uh, they must be consistent. And the last thing uh, here about the syntax is that this is answer, colon, space. And these, this is uh, the fidgety part. It's a computer that's reading it. So if, it, if it's not perfect, the computer is going to be upset. And we wouldn't want that. Uh, in between questions, we open one blank line. So this line seven here has uh, nothing there at all. This is an empty space. And that is because that's the border that tells the computer, this is one question here, and this is a separate question here. So a new line, a blank line indicates that we have a new question coming in. Okay, so I'm going to save that. And now, I'm going to find that file. Oh, that's not it. Uh, I'm going to find that file, and it's here. It's this file I can here, and I got some other files in there that are not really necessary. But anyway, uh, let me go across here. Grab that. Uh, let me see. Oh, actually, when I said that before, you couldn't actually see that, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Anyway, here we go. I can. I am dragging and dropping the file I can, which I just saved, into here for the I can format. Now, when importing ICANN format files, this is one thing that's actually rather important is this general area. And this general is usually closed. So you're going to want to open that. And you're going to want to make sure that you choose the category where you're going to put it. I made that category ICANN format because that's where I want to put my quiz questions. But if you don't choose this, it will put it to whatever this is set to by accident. Uh, get category from file, get context from file. This does not really work for ICANN format, but it does work for uh, GIFT format. So this will be something that we might look at in the next video. Uh, match grades, stop on error. These are things that you don't really have to worry about too much this time. Yes or no. Uh, if you keep that to yes, if there's an error in your questions, it will stop the import and it won't overwrite all of the questions and create a a question bank that's full of rubbish. So now we just click on import and those, oh no. Uh, oh no. Okay, so <laughs> I know what this problem is. Uh, one of the things that it's incredibly important to do with your text file once you've created it is to actually save it before you upload it. <laughs> if you don't save the file, there are no questions in the import file. That can happen. Um, whoa, how embarrassing. I am not going to re-record this though. No way. Uh, this is too much fun. So let's continue on that. Let's go again. ICANN format. Going to go to general. Choose. Make sure that the ICANN format is selected there. Don't worry about the other options. Now I've saved my file. This time it should work. Okay. Uh, ICANN file. There it is. And import the file. And now we have the two questions have come in because I actually saved the file that time. And we can continue and there they are. Now ICANN format makes the question's name 
the actual um, question content. So how long is a piece of string? That is the name. And that's actually a pretty good thing to, uh, again, it's the same question basically, but that's, um, that's it. So if I go preview again here, um, to be or not to be, yes, to be, indeed, uh, submit and finish, and it can tell me the correct answer is to be, yeah. So I can do that. Now that I have these questions in the question bank, I can actually go back to my quiz and I can edit this quiz again. And I can now use these questions in here. So this time, instead of adding a new question, I have the option to add from question bank and I can change to the icon format category there. And there it is. I want to add this to be or not to be question. When I did, okay, it's actually uh, creating them on two separate pages. Mm, I want them on the same page. So I'm gonna remove that page break, okay. Now let's give that quiz a little bit of a try and see how it goes. Start attempt. And there are both of our questions. Beautiful. Okay, so that was uh, ICANN format, how to add questions to uh, multiple choice questions to your quiz. In the next video, we'll look at GIFT format, which is a bit more complex, but has a lot more power. Until then, catch you later.